Today we're building the ultimate fishing spot at the bottom of my garden. The whole reason I moved into this house was to be able to fish in my garden and make videos about it for you guys. But we need to get this done as quickly as possible. Summer is slipping away and winter is just around the corner. <laughs> Welcome to pegging. We can't call it pegging. Well, we're building a fishing peg, aren't we? But pegging. We'll talk about it later. Before the builder gets here, we need to clear this peg. We definitely need to get into that rear bank a little bit, cut a little bit back and uh, make a bit more room for the decking. And that is what Tom is doing now. I'll tidy this just little area up here. Yeah. I'm happy with that at the moment. I need a chainsaw, bro. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered after that. We never started building the peg yet. The builder's on his way. I have got a little surprise for Tom at the end of the video. We've been working on it for a while, guys. I'm really excited. So what's the plan? <laughs> frame this in. Get this, I'm gonna get the square frame in to get the timber out of the water. We'll frame it out. Then we'll level it, post it, noggin it, board it, and that's it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Kieran, what you've just said there about. Get us another box of screws in. You can sort of imagine what it's going to be like now. Coming together, are you? See this bit under here? This is where I'm going to teach Pike to hide. Nice. I like it. So this is like, add. So this is our deck as it's level. So now we're going to drive in some scaffold poles, something to anchor to for the water side, get some posts in at the back, get it all solid, deck it. Robert's your uncle. Kieran's the man. This is the main one. Yeah, yeah. Will we cut them down? Yeah, they're going to yeah. be cut yeah. like flush, or hidden almost. They don't look very straight, those scaffold poles, I've got to say. Be good uh, to get them a bit straighter. Oh, yeah, yeah, I might. Yeah. You're right there, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Just, just having a look, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything all right just get them mole grips on it, Sean. Sort that out. Right, like Ethan, walk the van. They're like pliers. Yeah. You know that you slide up and down. Grab us a set of them, mate. Yeah, get them red pliers from the van, Ethan, yeah. That's what we need now. Where's your high vis, Sean? It's in the van, mate. Is it? Yeah? Is that alright? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, I'll just make a note of it. Come on, lads. Stop messing around now. Just get the peg built, please. Thank you very much. Can I have this? Can you... You're in the way. So the structure is nearly structured, isn't it? Nearly structured. Doing a great job here, lads. Great job here. It's a bit quicker. It'll be good. All right then. It's cement time. Before we do the cementing, uh, I was researching. You need to use spring water because then the cement uh, sets harder. Tom, what are you going on about, mate? Spring water. What are you going on? Island Springs. You what, yeah. Can you just do us all a favour and get out of the way? Here's a Snagbro fly that you can get from snagbro.com. Go and do some fishing or something. Just get out of the way. Well, you, don't you, you need me for the no, advice? You, you're in the way. Get out of the way. All right, yeah, well, I'll go fishing then. Well, if you thought the weed was bad before, it's even worse now. Look at this. Some parts outside my peg completely caked in it. But I did a bit of research, sent it off to a specialist, didn't I, some of the weed, took a sample, and it's not duckweed. So there, to all those comments who said it was duckweed, it's actually called floating crystal wart. 
and I think it's impacting the oxygen in the canal because this floating weed is sucking up all that oxygen and the fish aren't doing so well. I've seen a couple of dead fish, which is always a really bad sign. The Canal and River Trust are trying to get rid of it, but it seems that it's growing quicker than they can chuck it in the bin. Not ideal. It's coming along very nice. Kieran's just putting some mitres on, make it look nice and pretty. We're nearly there. Big shout out to Kieran and Ethan for coming down all the way from Middlesbrough. And big shout out to Al, Big Al, for the scaffold poles. Thanks, Al. Oh my God. That's a fish trap. Oh, and it's got fish in there. Pike and a perch. What is going on there? Why would someone? What? Oh, I can't believe people are using fishing traps. I don't get it. Because if people were trying to trap pike to eat them, why would they throw it there? Unless they were trying to get crayfish. Oh, I knew something like this was going to start happening. Well, I better get rid of that fish trap, get the fish out and throw the fish trap in the bin. If you're watching, so am I, by order of the chairman. As Sean said, the jig flies are back in stock. They are tried and tested and the pike, they just love them. They absolutely love them. For this video, we're gonna give a discount code. That code is PEGGING and it gives you 13% off. 13, you heard me right. Get your jig flies, get your polarized glasses. It's looking pretty good. Now we just need to add some finishing touches and turn this into a proper fishing spot. <laughs> I feel like the blackboard is really important. We need to log the catches. We need to keep track of what's going on, what's coming out. Pike, 20 pound, doubles on it. I've got Tom's final surprise. Check it out. It's also a surprise for you guys. Brand new, doubles only, Snag Bro t-shirt, merch, your breath. Oh, it's the text. It's Sean. Hi mate, can you come back to the peg? Because it's finished, it's Oh, all done. it's finished, oh, don't forget me Rod. Come in, hold on to me, one big step, one big step. That's it, keep coming, keep coming. Now there's a deck now, you gotta step, that's it, step up, step up. That's it now, just Am step. I on the pros only peg right now? Yep, yeah, step to your right a little bit, your right a little bit more, yep, yeah, a bit more, Hey. Okay dude, take the mask off. Oh, no, bro, you got the doubles only t-shirt as well. No, no. I didn't know they'd come yet, mate. New merch for the store, bro. Doubles only. Don't forget to use the 13% discount pegging for the t-shirts and the jig flies. 13% off. 13% off. It was a chairman's decision I made without you. Mate, What's the discount code? Pegging. Pegging. Yeah. Mate, do you like the t-shirt though? Awesome. Mate, do you like the peg? Mate. Barbecues. Oh, that's getting going today. Check out the blackboard. We need to keep a record of our catches. I caught a 20 pound pike earlier. Oh, did you? As you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah doubles yeah. only. Yeah, doubles only. Love it. Love it. What have we got in here? Oh, they're getting dropped. Oh, and I've got the old feeder rods out on the rod pod. Mate, Ready to rock and roll, mate? If I was an angler walking on the other side, I'd be like, what are these pair doing? This yeah. is the ultimate fishing spot. Yeah, you're taking the mickey, mate, let's be honest. It is, isn't it? This is awesome. Kieran's done us a solid, mate. Solids. This is the life. <laughs> Absolutely bang on. Did you catch earlier? Nah. Standard. Not a thing. I think the next thing is the weed issue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, mate, we need to sort the weed out. We need to invite some people down here. What do you reckon? Like, I want to get Johnny Vegas on this peg. Johnny Vegas? Yeah, yeah. Who who would be your celebrity guest? I keep saying it, but I want to see David Seaman. Mate. With a pike rod in his hand. Mate, that'd be sick. And I know he's out there fishing. I know you're out there, David. 
Honestly though, Sean, thanks for sorting this out. Sean was speaking to Kieran and going through the plans and getting the delivery sorted. And I think, honestly, this is like the best thing that I've ever had. Uh, it's way better than I uh, thought it's, it was going to be. It's a and real. I couldn't have done it without Kieran and Ethan here today. It's a real dream come true, man. So, cheers. No worries, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Pure vida. Pure vida. If you haven't seen any of the other garden videos, you need to go back and watch it here and it shows you the whole journey of this so far. Doubles only t-shirts available in all sizes. Discount code 13% off. Pegging. Get a jig flies, See you later.